Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so yesterday I was painting, you know, and that was my big project. I was going to surprise everybody with the yellow and gray paint. I thought it was going to look really great, come out great, but jeez, man, I don't know what the hell I was thinking that day. But anyway, so yeah, I, I painted this all yellow, and then I did all the walls, or the ceiling, uh, gray, and I thought it'd be a good combo. No, not at all. Because the outside of the boat is going to be a really dark gray on the bottom with yellow, and then the sails are going to be light gray with yellow. So I was kind of making it work, you know, with uh, the boat and the outside and the inside. But, yeah, the yellow needs to stay the outside of the boat, I guess. So, But anyway, so I got it all painted. It needs another or two coats of paint. And it's definitely a little... needs to be aired out some more. I had a fan going all night last night in here. And um, so it kind of aired it out, dried everything up. Still a little... I can still feel a little tackiness on it. So, And I haven't got the uh, around the table painted yet because I have a couple leaks... Um, I just seen one drip right a minute ago, um, so I just put a little bucket over there. But I got one off my chain plate on the port side, and then I got something going on on the starboard side. I got three little containers, and it's kind of running from the front of the boat, I think, somewhere. So I need to go over it and, and start looking for things, I guess. But the top of the boat doesn't leak, so that's why I painted the top of the boat from the port lights up. It's all painted. That's why I haven't painted anything else down below. So, uh, I got, uh, yeah, so let me turn the camera around and let me show you how it looks today. Okay, so I got the boat pretty much all cleaned up and organized um, back there. So I used some of that for storage. I cleaned it up, put some bigger tools back there. I got a lot of tools. Um, I don't want to get rid of tools and maybe in a couple of years when I'm off the boat or change boats. But I have quite a bit of tools that I don't need out all the time. But just in case this happens, I have that tool. So, you know, I hung iron for 20 years, construction for 20 years, so I pretty much got everything I need. Um, I put the specialty stuff down there, like uh, pump, pump, pumping, piping, plumbing stuff, sandpaper, things like that. This is my everyday box. I'll find a spot to put it. But, as you can see, the boat's all painted now. Um, i got a couple different colors going on, which I have the same can. And I didn't paint that yellow, so I don't know what that's all about. I'll just have to redo it all right there. But I do want to put another coat on it, but it's still a little tacky, so I'm going to wait. And I'm not really feeling it today. So here's the lights, and that's the control box he's got for the lights. Um, it's run off a battery bank, and he it used to be a batteries, but he hooked it up that way. So that works out good for me. I like that. So there's one of my leaks I was talking about. I don't know what's coming on down up there. And the other leaks are right here. And it's got a little bit of water. No, nothing. I just dumped that one. That was pretty full. And then while we were talking, you know, while I was making the video, I guess one popped up right there. And I got another one on the chain locker on the bolt right there. I need to get it covered up. So here's my big-ass inverter. My nephew's going to come down on the 1st of next month and work on my motorhome, put the inverter in and get it all fixed up. And he said he'd come and look at the boat and see what was involved in getting that hooked up. And then I got a mechanic coming to look at the engine. And I just found out I can have a... A diver that lives here on the old, on the bay, he'd come out and clean out my on the bottom of my boat for me, and then check my keel out because and then my rudder because when I turned the steering the helm it kind of like it's broken bones or something so I didn't really turn it I want to wait so anyway so there's my cutting board I got it put back I got it put in I still got to stain it and stuff um, I put the oh shit handle I'm guessing that's what that's for it's the oh shit handle in case you know oh big wave hold on. You know, hopefully you're not cooking because if you got to hold on to that handle, I don't know what they're thinking. But if you got to hold that handle while you're cooking, that means your shit you're cooking is going to end up over here somewhere. So I'm not really understanding that principle, but yeah, I mean, I got a refrigerator here and I hope that thing's glued in there. I'm just thinking about that just now. So anyway, so yeah, I need another little round light like that. I've been looking for an LED light to put in there. Um, but other than that... That's it. Oh, I did get a sample of a chart, ocean chart. So I'm working on, I've been watching some online videos about learning how to read a chart, which isn't really that bad. It really is not that hard. Um, when I get, I, I, I thought the ocean chart, you know, you see on movies, one big giant map, you know. No, that's not how it is. These maps are 36 by 48, and there is a lot of them. Hold on. So... Yes, there's a lot of them. So, just to go from, like, I want to go from Oregon to Hawaii and then to Australia and, you know, kind of, I want to go in a circle. 
you know, I want to go to Asia, work my way around, and come back and through the Panamas. But just to go from here to Hawaii is like four or five of these maps. And so I'm going to have these Christmas tubes of maps all over my boat, I guess. I don't know. And they're not bad, you know. They're really good details. I don't know if you really saw the details on it. But they give the um, they give the depth of the water and everything around, restricted area, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the one... <sighs> the couple I need, I guess, to get to Hawaii. But I'm not planning on leaving till next year, of course, you know. But um, what's really cool is the chart plotting, you know, you get to get some uh, little cool tools and, and learn how to use them and everything. So I'm going to look into the college for taking some classes like that just to make sure I got it down pretty well before I leave. And like I said, I got a, I got a guy, the same guy as my mechanic, he's actually raised around sailboats his whole life. And then I got a buddy that lives here in town in Florence. His name's Mark. He's helped me out a couple times on the road. Like when I got hurt with my knee, he happened to be behind us or behind me and helped me out that day. So he's going to, he's been sailing his whole life. So they're going to teach me how to sail. And I can't really move the boat out of the harbor now because of, it's a little low, I guess. Low water, low tide, something not tide, but low water, I guess. So um, it's a bay. I don't get it, but okay. So anyway... So today I'm just going to kind of kick back and just kind of enjoy the rocking of the boat and just kind of look at the chart and just really kind of not do anything more. I'm pretty much done for the day, I think. Maybe go grab a lunch, come back and eat on the boat. But yeah, it's rocking nice. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just kind of rocking back and forth slow, you know, from the, the rain, I guess. So anyway, I hope everybody had a great Sunday and a great weekend. Um... Uh, I guess I'll talk to you all next weekend, and uh, peace out. Be happy, guys. Bye-bye.